Hi friends, welcome to Law Chat with Gerja. I'm Gerja Bhargav Patel, your host for Law Chat, and I am so excited for you to join us today. I have some amazing guests on Law Chat, and they're here to share their experiences and entrepreneurial journey with us, and through their storytelling, mentorship with us, because that is the whole point. We are all entrepreneurs and we're all on a journey and learning from one another is the best way for us to move forward in our journey as well. And I have amazing guests who are so willing and ready to share their stories with us, their challenges and their victories and their achievements and also their mindset. I just can't wait to share that with you. And I also just can't wait to have that conversation with them. It's such a privilege to have each and every one of them here with us today. And also it's such a privilege to have you listening in and tuning in. So let's dive in to Law Chat with Gerja. Hey everyone. Okay, so today friends, we're gonna be talking about 2020 reflection and also with just me. I thought this would be so much fun to have a podcast today that is talking about this is 2020 in reflection and this is part one of three podcasts that are going to be coming out and I really just wanted to connect with you and I really wanted to talk to you and while I love all my guests because they're truly so phenomenal but I thought that towards the end of the year I just want to chat with you this time now this three-part challenge is actually going to be the first part is 2020 reflection the second part is goal setting and planning because I truly truly just love it and I have been doing it in all honesty I've been doing it since the beginning of December because that's just how things happen around this side of town and then part three will actually be how to get your ABCs of your legal aspects of your business and let's get that going as well. So I'm going to kind of go down a list of things that you should look for and how to look for it. And plus probably have a couple freebies around there as well for you. So let's dive in. Let's talk about 2020. Oh my gosh. So ready for 2021 to start also. And I almost feel like we all think that there's going to be a magic button that happens at 12 o'clock at midnight on the 31st before the first and all of a sudden things are going to be fine but the reality is it's not true the reality is that things are still probably going to be somewhat similar but it's just going to be a fresh new year and that's what i think we're all looking for is a fresh new year now 2020 was also filled with a lot of blessings in my opinion and of course i also always say this because i do understand and recognize the privileges that i have around in my life and also I recognize the blessings that I have in my life as well. And I know that not everybody may have that, but at the same time, I do want to recognize the good things that happened because 2020 wasn't all that bad. Yes, there was COVID. Yes, there was quarantine. Yes, there was a lot of masks and we had to wear it every single time. Yes, life was so abnormal. And yes, we felt derailed from normal life. And you know, kids were at home virtually. I was home also working all the time. And really, we really learned to juggle and figure out our schedules with one another. But all of those things came with a lot of blessings also. And just looking back, you know, when we first started 2020, it was just such an exciting time because we're like, okay, it's the beginning of the decade, let's do this. And then the decade started. And of course, you know, we had our little family vacation in the beginning. And after that, we had a couple things happening and fun stuff, all fun. And then all of a sudden you're hearing this like, COVID, 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 and then March comes around and spring break comes around and it's the longest spring break ever known to mankind. But I tell you, that time was actually so beautiful because it was the first time that my family, like my husband and my kids and I, we were together in Houston in our home and we didn't have to go anywhere. And it was just so nice because we spent so much quality time with each other picnics, bike riding every single day. We got to know our neighbors really well. We walked down the streets that we'd never walked down before. And it was just really reconnecting. And I almost want to describe 2021 as a reconnecting because I truly felt that's what was happening. And a lot of us felt that. We reconnected to the simplicity of life. We reconnected to our roots. We reconnected to aspects that we had forgotten also. And we reconnected to family. And we reconnected to friends and in a different way. And also we got to see and explore what things we don't need in life, what we can shed, 
what we can leave behind and what we thought was necessary but actually isn't necessary. For example, traveling like a maniac for your business, is it really necessary? Having all those meetings all the time, are they really necessary? You know, just things like that. And then, you know, through this quarantine and COVID time, I was also able to work on projects that I have put on the back burner. Did you have that experience? Were you able to work on projects that you've been wanting to work on but just never had the time because you were traveling, you were going to this event, you were having this engagement, or you were just busy on the road being a chauffeur to everybody in the family? And I really felt like because we were not on the road all the time, because we were not traveling, and we also didn't have all these other obligations, like social obligations, we were really able to just reconvene and work on things that we've always wanted to work on. And for me, that was Your Contract Buddy, which is my contract template shop, and also my podcast, which I'm talking to you all right now. Like, who would have thought? I didn't think. What are some things that you were thinking and you achieved and you thought that this could never happen, but then in reality, not only did it happen, but you did it awesome. Like you were awesome at it. I hate to interrupt this awesome conversation, but I have to stop and talk with you about the number one thing I'm asked about by entrepreneurs, contracts. They're vital to any business relationship and to protect your business. But I also know that entrepreneurs, especially when you're starting up, money is tight, but I would never want you to compromise on a strong legal foundation. So enter your contractbuddy.com, a website created by me with contract templates created and drafted by me and fellow industry partners. They're ready to use and easy to plug in immediately. And they are not restricted to any specific state. So your contractbuddy.com is sponsoring this episode and you and your listener can get 10% off right now with code LAWCHAT. Yes, you heard me right. 10% off right now with code LAWCHAT. And now back to our awesome conversation. I feel like, you know, it was reconnecting and self-realization also and really seeing the capabilities that people have and the love that neighbors have for one each other and also commitment that our frontliners, our healthcare workers have for their communities. I have seen so much beauty from everything that's been going on in 2020. And so while I do joke around that, oh my gosh, I'm ready for 2021, I am because there's been a few random things that have been happening and a lot of sadness also that has filled 2020 and a lot of people and families that have been broken or that have, you know, lost loved ones in 2020 as well. And I cannot dismiss that. Nobody can, whether it was because of COVID or some other situations, but it happened. And I I'm so overwhelmed with sometimes the heartaches that came with 2020 as well. But I do want that when I reflect back on 2020, I want to know that this time was, yes, it has, it was overwhelmed. The heart felt very heavy at times for many different situations. But more than that, we were able to reconnect. We were able to have self-realization also during this time. And we're able to give like a rebirth to ourselves and allow ourselves and give ourselves permission to prepare ourselves for next year. Because I know that 2021 may be a little similar to 2020, especially in Q1. But what we do have in control is how we handle the situations and what we do with the circumstances that we have and the opportunities that we get even in the midst of a lot of stress. So I wanted to encourage you that in reflection, there's a lot more that we can be thankful for, even in the midst of sadness, even in the midst of a heavy heart, but we do have a lot that we can be thankful for. So write it down, write down all your achievements, write down even the smallest achievements, because that is still an achievement. And that is still a step towards the goals that you have in life. So write down your gratitude, write it all down, self-reflection, the reconnecting and you know, all of that stuff and write it down and then look at it and put a little time capsule on it and maybe write yourself a letter for the end of 2021 and where you see yourself and where you are today. So with that being said, I will see you at episode number two of three. And we're going to talk about goal setting and we're going to talk about how I do my goal setting and what all that encompasses. Because with 2020, what I'm going to do is something that a very smart 
law chat guest of mine, Megan Gilligan, had shared with me. And it was essentially leave what does not serve you anymore in 2020, whether that's relationships, whether that is situations or policies or you know, practices, whatever you're doing, that's just not working for you anymore. Leave it behind and move forward to 2021 with the things that are serving you well, with the things that are helping you, with the things that are bringing joy to your life and take that into 2021 with you. And so I'm gonna to try to actively do that as well. But the only way to do that is to reflect on 2020 and see what really worked and what didn't work. And so when I do that, I also realize that some of the things that didn't work, which sometimes, you know, so much dependency on others in my life in the sense of me not being able to do certain tasks in my business world, like the tech stuff. And so now I've realized that Q1, I have to focus on that. I have to focus on getting a working knowledge because I feel like as an owner of a business, you need to have a working knowledge of certain tasks in your business. Whether or not you do them on a daily is different, but having a working knowledge is so essential. And also, putting boundaries and being able to set the tone of how you want certain things done and getting that done in the beginning and not being worried about what everyone's going to think or say, because ultimately when you're a business owner, it's your business that's on the line and you're the one losing sleep and not the other person. And so these are the kind of things that I want to make sure that I am steadfast on in my experience and my understanding of the experience and also kind of remember the feelings that I received from that experience as well. And so reflecting back to 2020, those are the things that I will be taking or not be taking with me. So I will see you guys next week when we are goal setting and we'll talk about all the things that I do to goal set because it's literally one of my most favorite things to do. And I look forward to hearing from you. And if you love this episode, share it with a friend, share it with somebody else, show some love, leave a feedback, leave a review, and I'd love to hear about it. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for joining Law Chat with Gerja. I love these kind of stories and conversations where we can be real, honest, and open, and having fun at the same time. I hope you are inspired and motivated to keep doing the amazing work you are doing. If this is something that gave you all those feels and then some truly motivated and inspired for you, you can show your love in all or one of these ways. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video with your community and tell them about it or share with somebody that can benefit from it. I look forward to seeing you next time on another episode of Law Chat. And until then, keep moving forward. Bye.